All right, let's get right into okay. this. Okay. Right, take a look at this Hercules little contraption. Here. I don't know how Cobrick missed this. You get the big leagues right now. We're talking <laughs> Bunsen burners and, uh, well, you yeah, yeah, get everything. Okay. Right. So take a look at what happens. Yes. Um, most people think of steam as what we see right here. Can sure. you kind of yeah, see it kind of coming on. off right here? Right and there. if you can't see it very well, kind of against the black, there you, you can kind of see yeah. There it is. Mm -hmm. so, so there's our steam that's there. Steam is really just by definition vaporized water. Yeah, so think water, of like a vaporizer in the room. You got it. You got it. But steam, you know, you put your hand in steam, it doesn't necessarily catch on fire so mm -hmm. that's where the next part comes in okay so notice that we have this little part part here bubbling. where it's bubbling so we have these uh, this water vapor here it's coming uh -huh. up through a coil of wire uh, uh, of copper tubing yeah. what's and now, going on there what how, how does that help well we're gonna superheat this all right oh boy so uh, this oh is good, boy right? so this is yours Look out. Right, hang on okay. you're good okay all right, so now watch this you go underneath kind of like this yeah all right and I'm gonna come up on top you're good okay Life's good just right. hold it right there yeah all right, so you're you making and I, me nervous, Steve. Oh, don't worry about it. You and I are now superheating it. Notice what's at the very end. You're not seeing any uh, of that water vapor come no, out stopped. anymore, are you? Right? Because I've been so focused on, on see, the bottom okay, right here. Holding still. All right, so we are superheating this, which means that steam has the potential to take a tremendous amount of energy. So if you take a look at this right now, you can see it doesn't look like there's a, a, a lot of water vapor coming out. No. And in fact, we're getting it up to about 200 degrees Celsius. That's 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So kind of watch what happens. I'm going to hold this one here for you so you can let go of this. Okay. I'll hang on to it. Now here's what I want you to do. Why don't you get one of those matches and yeah. the tongs, all right? So get a match. By definition, the superheated steam is colorless and it's invisible. Just okay. get the match right at the very top there and right take there. a look at what happens. Let's see if it's getting hot enough. Watch what happens when we get... Oh, hey did you look at that? That, that right there? That's steam. Isn't that just amazing? Yeah. So as we get close to it there, Ooh. about 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and all we have to do is get close Smoke alarm and starts to catch it. Smoke alarm will it? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, they know it's Monday, right? <laughs> yeah, take they a, know take a look here. at the piece of paper. Okay. All right. You can actually take the piece of paper and put it right in there, kind of right like, there. yeah. Let's see if they can see on the camera what happens to that piece of paper. You can start to see. Oh, there can it is. See it? See that? It starts to brown. So firefighters have oh, to be yeah. especially uh, cautious of a real steam leak because yeah. steam is in, in, insidious. It's invisible. It's colorless. It has so much energy inside. And mm -hmm. so that's kind of why they use steam for steam turbines and so forth. You can trap wow. a tremendous amount of energy. Now, if we stop superheating it, then all of a sudden you've got a situation where you, know, you can kind of see it again so we get this water condensation. This is kind of a nine news only demo. This isn't somebody somebody's going to rig up at home, you sure. know, just try at home. Not. But, but <laughs> well, I don't know. We, we have gadgeteers that are out there. But I think it's absolutely amazing that when we think of steam, we can take a look at something like yeah. that. Oh, that's that is a good one. truly that powerful to be able to start a fire. Yeah, a lot of energy. It's and the bubbling amazing. still the same as it was absolutely. when we started. Temperature down here about 100 degrees Celsius, but because we superheated it out there, it's about 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, catch on fire. Absolutely okay. amazing.